What you can see behind us here is the outcome of a beautiful project that we ran to connect primary school children with nature through the lens of traditional Indigenous knowledge. Bringing together nature and culture for this program was actually quite simple. Uh, caring for country is such an important part of culture. We simply looked at the curriculum and then looked to see what parts of Indigenous knowledges we could bring into the classroom for the students. I thought the project was really fun because instead of just hearing about how bad things are, we actually got to do something by planting plants. And it's a really fun way to learn about science. I think the program was incredibly successful. We could see that the students were highly engaged. They were walking around telling us all sorts of facts about the matted flax lily, which was one of our main plants. And beyond that, the teachers also felt very confident in all sorts of biodiversity knowledge and Indigenous knowledges. And the culture of the school as well has been enhanced and has had an ongoing effect. Personally, this program was really important to me. As an Indigenous person, I think it's important that schools talk about Indigenous knowledges in classrooms and embed it in a really holistic way. Some of the native grasses that we have planted include kangaroo grass, which is really important for seeds and for weaving, making string and nets, so very important culturally. We also have the matted flax lily, which is a significantly important species for the Wurundjeri peoples, which is the traditional custodians of the land that the school is built on. It's also a critically endangered species, which is extra important to be able to plant those in spaces like schools where there is lots of potential for native plants to be planted and for it to be taken care of by hundreds of people. Other species planted in the school include things like chocolate lilies, uh, which have a beautiful chocolate smell to their flowers, and a food garden with really important traditional food plants like murnong or pig face. In this you know, age of climate crises and biodiversity crises, it's, it's really fabulous to have a project that's focused on solutions, being part of the solution to the biodiversity crisis by planting a threatened species right here in your schoolyard.